Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to plant bulbs correctly. I'm going to be covering some important steps that you need to be aware of and I'll be sharing some of my top tips with you. By the end of this video, you'll have everything you need to know on how to plant bulbs correctly for a guaranteed display. Just before we get started, please subscribe to the channel, smash that like button and share this video with your friends and family. In my previous video, I went through three important rules that you must follow before planting bulbs. I strongly recommend that you watch this video first. What I've done here is to demonstrate how to position your bulbs inside the pot. In this demonstration, I've got three layers. I've got tulips, daffodils and crocuses. When you're growing a combination of bulbs in a single pot, you're basically just creating layers. This is known as a bulb lasagna. You may have noticed some stones here on the bottom level. Now that is there for drainage. It's very important when you are planting bulbs in containers that you have correct drainage. Otherwise, there's a very high chance that the water will collect and eventually rot your bulbs. There's a common misconception about positioning bulbs. People often worry about positioning bulbs directly on top of each other, like this. They assume that it will block the path of the below bulbs. This is not the case. Each bulb will happily navigate its way up to the top of the pot. When you're planting your bulbs, one thing is very important and that's the direction of the bulb. You must remember that every bulb should be positioned pointy side up. If we use this bulb as an example, we can just take the outer layer off like so. You can see that this bulb has a pointy side on the top and almost like a flat base at the bottom. So when you're positioning your bulbs, remember to position them pointy side up. And this is true for every bulb. So you can see the daffodils, you've got the pointy side up there, and you've got the roots at the bottom, so they would be positioned like that. Similarly with the crocuses, you can see with this bulb, pointy side up, flat base at the bottom, and then that would go in to your pot like that. If you're unsure on how deep to plant your bulbs, then the general rule of thumb is you should plant your bulbs at least twice its depth. For example, if we take this tulip bulb, let's imagine that this is the top of our pot. You would plant this, so you just count it down to two, so one, two. That is twice its depth. So that's the minimum depth that you would plant that bulb. With bulbs like daffodils and tulips, you can plant them lower down, and that's exactly what I do because the lower they are, the stronger the stem will be when they come into flower. Bulbs which are smaller in size, for example the crocus, it's worth sticking to the recommended depth. There's a high chance that the smaller bulbs will rot. The other common question is how close can you plant bulbs together? The answer is you can plant them close as possible, like I've done here. But just make sure that they're not touching each other. Let's move on to the next step and get these bulbs planted in a container. By the way, if you're enjoying this video, please subscribe to the channel, smash that like button and share this video with your friends and family. What I'm going to do now is to bring all this together and show you how to plant these bulbs into a container. The first thing I'm going to do is to enhance the drainage. Even though I've got drainage holes in here, I want to be sure that no water can collect to rot the bulbs, so we'll add that in. Next, we'll add in our first layer of compost. When you've added your first layer in, just press the compost down slightly. Don't push it down too hard, but just firm it in, like so. In the bottom layer, I'm going to add in my tulip bulbs. So I'll just put them in like this. Now that we've added in our tulip bulbs, we will add a second layer of compost on top of them. Once you've added your second layer in, just spread the compost around, cover the tulip bulbs and just press the compost in again. For my second layer, I'm going to add in the daffodil bulbs. So I'll just position them in, in a very similar manner. 
I've got a second pack of daffodils here which I'm going to add in as well on this layer. By the way, when you're planting any bulb, it's worth doing a quality check on them. I've just found one here that's quite soft and you can see some rot. So this will be no good. So be sure to go through your bulbs before planting them. They should be nice and firm like this one here. Um, away from any rot or damage, these will grow nicely. Once you've added your second layer of bulbs in, go ahead and cover them again. Now we're ready for our third and final layer. For this, I'm going to add in the crocuses, but also I'm going to add in these beautiful muscari flowers. Let's just start with the crocus bulbs first. And now let's add in the muscari. This is our final layer of bulbs in now. You can get a sense of how beautiful this display is going to look in spring. And finally, we cover these bulbs. And as the finishing touch, I'm just going to add in some white stones on the top of this. And this is what the finished product looks like. You don't have to add in the stones. The reason why I do it is because it holds the moisture. It prevents any weeds from growing. And of course, when the flowers come through, they look absolutely stunning against a white surface. Don't forget to water your container, label it as well. If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe to the channel, smash that like button and share this video with your friends and family. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.